Hey folks, I'm Grimwit, and this is the solution page for the riddle of the room in the Let's Play Maze thread on the Something Awful forum. This is the fourth of five videos, and we'll only cover the room, its riddle, and its answer. We'll find later that there is more to see even after that. I do not claim to have all the answers to the maze, so keep in mind that there may be other mysteries involved here that I'm not aware of. If inquired, the publisher of the maze book, Henry Holt and Company, would send six hints about Room 45 and its riddle. Here are said hints, and the order, by the way, is very important. 1. I'll tip my hat if the two of you can solve this. 2. You can get into these two shoes only if you don't go anywhere. 3. You will find two names on the table, and they go together like donut and hole. 4. You must choose between two pictures. 5. There are no two ways you can read this sign. 6. You can see that another two pictures demonstrate their own kind of symmetry. Symmetry, incidentally, is the trick to this room. Let's cover them one at a time. Hint 1. The W is right next to a question mark, giving the impression of asking a question. On the other side is a picture of a hat. W plus hat equals what? Riaz was the first to point this out. Hint 2. The horseshoe isn't a proper horseshoe. Having too few holes, that just makes it a U. The other is just a shoe, albeit a very large one. Add U to the word shoe, and you'll have enough letters to rearrange and spell the word house. Faust the Ninth was the first to solve this hint. I think he was. Hint 3. The paper shows I am and a fist shaking a spear. Obviously a reference to Shakespeare, but I am is actually the last three letters of his first name, William. The will is covered. Covering Will's name is a row of wood, and there's a sun to the right. Wood row and will plus sun. This is the 28th president of the United States, Woodrow Wilson. Hyper Crab Tank and Tenebris piece this one together. The commonality is the word will. Hint 4. There are two pictures at the top, one of an all and the other of a none. Everyone was bouncing between these two, and though I've read either will do, only one of them makes sense to me. If we choose none, the riddle takes on a weird metaphysical quality, so I will choose all. Hint 5. The sign on the left only shows us four letters. These letters could either spell evil, or they could spell live. Since we need a verb, we'll choose live. I8LICU812 pointed this one out. Hint 6. There's a picture of an I to the left, and to the right there is a Z, or if you tip it on its side, it's an N. I and Z doesn't make a word that I know, but I and N make N. I8LICU812 pointed this one out again. I think he was the first to point it out. So the full question is, what house will all live in? It's an interesting note that Shakespeare's theater was called the Globe. I don't really think this is a coincidence. I think it's meant to draw attention to the answer to the riddle. Also, I've heard a quote attributed to Woodrow Wilson. Without God, the world would be a maze without a clue. Problem is, I haven't found anything connecting this quote to our 28th president. Really, the only thing I can find is a Bible quote. It would fit nicely, but I can't find any connection between Woodrow Wilson and this, uh, this particular line. The answer to the riddle, as accepted by Henry Holt and Company Publishing for the $10,000 prize in 1985 to 1987, I think? would have been either world, earth, or globe. And to my surprise, you guys brushed right by it. Moose Miller 
in in Weismuller, in Emma, this name pointed out that world would fit both the room and the path riddles. The only problem is my hint pointed out to about four or five words, which I think drew you guys away from this answer. And for that, I am sorry. I do feel, however, there's a slightly deeper answer and one that I will cover in my last video. And that is all for now. Have nothing but fun, YouTubes.